I'm going to show you how to make online tests and quizzes now. So uh, I'm logged into my course. I'm going to go ahead and click here. And I'm going to uh, create a new online test or quiz. I don't have any here to show you because I've never done one before. So I'm going to go ahead and click here. Um, but I know it gives me a range of different types of questions. So let's call this test quiz. That's a confusing name. Uh, new quiz. Uh, I can give it a, out of a certain number of points. I'm just going to say 100. Uh, I can uh, set a due date. So, for example, if I wanted students to work on this at home, uh, I could just go ahead and create a due date for some time in the future and say, hey, it's your homework to go online and do that quiz. Or if I wanted to, I could set it for today as the due date, and they'd have to do it in class. So right now I don't have any class discussions. I can create ungraded items that don't go into the grade book if I want which is great. Uh, often quizzes are sort of like um, feedback, formative assessment, or assessment for learning, I think that's called. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go here to my grading options. I can put it under term two. I can give it an A, B, C, D if I want, or levels. I'm just going to keep it numeric. And I can give it a factor here. So it's ungraded. So my factor doesn't matter. If I wanted to say this is homework, I might give it a factor of one. Um, it's just like the assignment. This is a weight. So if I decided that as a department that a quiz is weighted at a three, I would do that. But that's something everyone in their department should decide. I can attach a file. Let's say this is a quiz about a piece of text that someone would have to read. I can go ahead and attach a Word document or something to this. Or let's say they're uh, doing some critical thinking about a picture. I can go ahead and upload a picture. It's uploading. Or I could link to an article that I found on a website. So I just paste the URL here. Whatever that happened to be. And say attach. So there, I've got two things attached. And I can say create. So what does it look like? It looks like this. So here's my new quiz. I'm going to go ahead and add some questions to it. I can click. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and say add. I'm going to add a true or false question. So you are taking a quiz. This should be an easy one. True or false? The answer is true. Uh, and I can require a correction if they put the wrong answer or, or if it's false. So they have to say false and say why, which is kind of cool. Um, apparently there are subjective questions and timed questions. So a timed question might be, you know, you might have two minutes in total to answer this question. Or a subjective question might be something that you might use in art class or something where there's not necessarily a right or wrong answer, I suppose. True and false doesn't seem to lend itself too well to that. And you can give it a number of points. So remember, I made my quiz out of 100, so 10 points for this question. Now I could create another question. Go ahead and add another one, and let's try a multiple choice this time. So again, uh, which of the following, blah, 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 something, something. I can, this is a rich text editor, so I can put a list of things, I can put a numbered list of things, I can underline italic all that sort of stuff. I got more options here, so I can highlight. This is, I don't know, looking pretty familiar, probably a lot like Word. Uh, if I want to, I can even put in advanced characters. So we're doing some currency conversion here. I put in the, the pound. Um, I can paste from Word. So let's say I've written this in Word. I can push this button and paste it right in. I can change font sizes, all that. I can add a table. So these are all really familiar things to you if you've used something like Word before. And then I have a choice. So number one, number two, number three, number four. And I can add more choices if I'd like. So there's a fifth choice. Um, and then I choose which is the right answer. I can make these randomized. So if you happen to have a student looking over another student's shoulder, uh, choice one, two, three, four, five will be different for uh, every student. Um, 
and I can allow a partial credit, which means that one of them is more right than another. And again, I can time it, and I can give it um, a score. So maybe this one will be 20. I'll create the question. There we go. I have my second question, which doesn't look very beautiful. I apologize. Let's add another one. So you can keep doing this. There's ordering questions, short answer questions, fill in the blank question, matching. And I can create a page break if I need to, if I want to break up the content into sections where the first section is about one novel, the second section is about another novel, so I could go ahead and do that. So here's a page break, and it's right there, and then I go ahead and add another one, and maybe I would put some text before the second part. So, so text, 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 and say create, and there we go. So I've created my thing, and now students are coming in, so it's getting noisy. But I'm going to try and finish this anyway, because I don't want to start over. So I'm going to hit save. And there is my quiz. This gets graded and automatically put into the grade book as it's created. And I do apologize for the noise, but that sort of thing happens at a school.